This is Darth Ravage Zero 07 coming at you today with another Transformer Siege quick review. This is none other than Ironhide. And my Ironhide also has mods done to his weapons. And uh, we'll show that off along with the gap fillers. And I got those gap fillers from tfsafari.net. And I can't thank the gentleman enough for putting those out there and allowing us to fill in the holes that these figures seem to be a little holier than we're waffling and the tfsafari.net uh, fillers do an excellent job of filling in the gaps and filling in the blank spaces so uh, we got Ironhide here in his car mode, his van mode and uh, he's a larger deluxe and uh, also uh, with the pins here and stuff I took a hair dryer and uh, removed some flashings thanks to uh, Rolling Redneck reviews. I removed the flashing, did the hair dryer fix that uh, Shardimus did, so I did combination stuff, and I have no problem keeping my flaps on with uh, transformation. That is no longer is an issue. It was just some kind of fall at the first few waves of this. I'm hoping they caught it, did a run and fix, and got that better. As my ratchet and my crosshairs that are the same mold of this don't do not have the issue with the popping off four panels. There, I'm talking about. I just need to get a hold of the rear uh, fillers I've seen on tfsafari.net and I don't know why mine didn't come with it. And I took and shade off the extra part of the gun there and just didn't really care for it. Plus like in this vehicle mode, if you take this guy and you remove these right here, just sit on the side a second, and you open up the back end where it's like uh, Ratchet's me Medical Bay or whatever. I like the rolling thunder kind of look of this uh, Mad Max mode here for the Salvatorian vehicle. Uh, kind of reminds me of a, the way the weapons platform was intended to be with the original G1 iron hide. But they got it with this. And of course, if you have the handle still, they'll just hang off the back end. But I really love the look of that whole iron hide's getting ready to roll in and take you out kind of uh, configuration there. And this thing, yeah, this is all good. I mean, I think that looks really good. Spot on for Mr. Ironhide. And it doesn't look that too bad from the back. And I've sanded that down as much as I could to get it as smooth as I could for the other modes. So that when you get in a robot mode, you have a little bit more presentability with these weapons. And uh, I just love the rocket launchers. And I did add a little extra silver paint to the tips of those. So they stand out a little bit better too. So I'm gonna pause this, get this guy in a robot mode, show off both the configurations of the hammers and then show you also the gap fillers and uh, finish off the review. Thanks again for watching. Give me just a moment and here is Ironhide in his most excellent robot mode, uh, posing in ways that I didn't ever imagine. This is actually kind of what I was wanting inside of the G1 figure way back in the day, but we finally got it in 2019. As whenever he released, he didn't have these little nice gap fillers and he had a lot of hollow bits. I'm just going to go around the block here. He had hollow bits in the back of his arm. Those are now filled in. He had them right here in the shoulders and on the back, but they also, when they made the fillers, give two more combat ports to, if you need to store more stuff, I mean, it's there. And, uh, I think those cut those fillers do a great deal of uh making it a more solid piece looking piece and it, without that it was very very hollow especially see like right here in his uh, forearm that was hollow uh just looks a lot way a lot better now that i'm looking at the other sides of the thor hander rocket launchers uh the, the ones i modded there and that, that, that looks a little bit hollow that's the hollow look i was telling you about uh, some people don't like the clear glass see-through. I don't mind it. And I really do love the face and the paint skull on this guy as it is truly Ironhide. Uh, the other configuration that you can do, I uh, like to do with uh, all the articulation that Ironhide has. <laughs> he can really bust some really cool poses with these weapons. Give me just a moment. Let's get them into the rocket launcher configuration. Uh, Saw it off if you want to, if you will. Uh, so there's our old iron hide wheeling some sawed off <laughs> rocket launchers. And uh, he can, with all this articulation, he can really lay into 
a bunch of good different poses. He's got the ankle rockers. He's got the thigh swivels. The unit did come with the thigh extension, but that affected transformation. So I'm good with it. Like I said, he's already a big deluxe and I'm okay with that. Uh, with I've seen videos uh, where if you have the thigh extensions, he's as tall as Optimus, Siege Optimus. So, I mean, there's that. Uh, but basically another little spin around the block here to give you another look at those gap fillers and how it did a really good job of uh, filling in the gaps and especially in the back of the legs there was a piece that needed to be because it was this big old empty hole so it's all over iron hot here and uh now that's not the case or the problem anymore so thanks again to uh, tf safari for putting those out there some folks have painted theirs i'm just gonna leave mine with the gray to you know remember where we came from to see where we are going kind of thing with this iron hot figure and uh i highly recommend if you get him or ratchet or uh, crosshairs he's also got the the kits to to get those holes filled in with that i'm gonna get the impactor one next uh for both my impactors so i'm gonna order two more of those because the impactor has some horribly hollow <laughs> leg kibble totally unforgivable i mean these things are 19.99 for the deluxes these days i uh, say so you're you're paying you know more bang for your buck no pun intended and they you deserve to have uh figures without the holes in them um that is going to do it for my review of the the whole filler gut filler for siege ironhide and also siege ironhide uh, if you're an ironhide fan like i am this is an absolute no-brainer don't hesitate pick him up he he is absolutely worth uh, having and again uh if you have some time check out my uh fa facebook and my website for my cruises business as the Facebook shows off the cruises I've been on and the website is who I'm working for. I work for Cruises Inc. and look forward to giving you the vacation of your dreams and getting things back to normal again. Here in the spirit of that is again my, you know, finishing off the review here for Ironhide. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, all the good little things, and uh, I really do appreciate all that has subscribed. You guys have a safe and happy day out there until all are one.